Hello, my name is Elijah and today we'll be learning how to find the area of a triangle using trigonometry. So why is this important? Well, normally we would just do half times the base times the height and that would give you the area. However, if we have a triangle such as this one, where we have three lengths, or it could be something where um, you have a two lengths and an angle, but using this example, we have three lengths, but we don't have the height. So we can't just use this equation. We need to do something else. So what could we do to find the area of this triangle without using this equation? Can you think of an equation that we could use? So hopefully, you would say A equals half AB sine C. However, C denotes this angle, but we don't know this angle just yet. So we need to do something else. What equation could we use to find this angle? Now, it's going to be another trigonometry ratio equation, but which one? Now, because we have three sides, it's going to be cosine, okay? And the right equation would be cos A equals B squared plus C squared minus A squared over 2BC. Now, one thing to note is the cos A in this equation, A is actually this angle. Sine C, the C, is actually this angle. So, it's very important to not transfer your answer using cos A where you find A, you can't put it into this, otherwise you get 34. zero, And that's wrong actually, okay? It's not 34. So let's see how you'd work it out. Now to get the right answer, we would need to use another version of this. So, Let's say cos C. Now I'm saying C because 15, let's say 15 is C, 10 is B, and 12 is 12 is A. Cos C would be equal to A squared plus B squared. So this is C, this is a squared sign, minus C squared over 2AB. Okay, now let's put some numbers into this equation. So a squared is 12, so 12 squared plus 10 squared minus 15 squared over 2 times 12 times 10. Now 12 squared is 144. 10 squared is 100, 15 squared is 125, so your numerator would be 19. Your denominator is 2 times 12, which is 24, times 10 is 240. Okay, so that's cos C. We want to work out what C is, where C is this angle. So we need to do the inverse of cos. denoted by cos minus 1 of 19 over 240. Now, on this occasion, like this type of question, it doesn't matter whether you're in degrees or whether you're in radians. So I'm going to give the answer in degrees. 
So C would be, so the cos minus 1 of 19 over 240 is 85. 0.459 Now I'd leave it to this degree of accuracy because if you round too early your answer for the area would be slightly off and sometimes this would be right, but sometimes when you're asked to do it to three significant figures, it's wrong. So I would just leave the answer that comes in your calculator and leave this as the answer. So that would be, so the um, angle is 85.4933267 degrees. Now to find the area, we can use this because we know what C is, okay? So area is R times A. Now, we can keep A as A and B as B because we have found C, okay? So A is 12, B is 10, so 12, R times 12 times 10 times sine, of 85.4593327 and that would give you 59.8 and we must not forget our units so now that that's your answer to those three significant figures but what if you were asked to give your answer to meet in meter squared what would you do so i'm hoping you wouldn't fall for the common error which would be to say this is my attempt at a square where you have a one by one meter square this area would actually be 10,000 so um, the incorrect thing to do would be to say that to put this in meter squared you just divide it by 100 because one meter equals 100 centimeters you actually want to do because of this, where one meter is equals 100, your area of a one meter squared square would actually be, so one meter squared actually equals 10,000. Centimeter squares. So to put this in meter squared, you need to divide this by 10,000. And your answer would actually be 0 0.00598 meter squared. All right. Now, this question could have still been a bit harder if you were given two angle, two sides, forgive me. So if you're given two sides and one angle, and you were not given a side, you'd need to use a sine rule. And then you could use this. Then you'd get, you'd need to use a sine rule to find the third side, and then you can do it this way. So that would be that. Now um, it's your go. So I want you to do this two questions. So this one and this one, and be careful of the units required. Thank you.